Hi friends, Namaste. I am Sushma from Happy Learning YouTube channel. Today we shall discuss a divine love song. When we talk about divine love, all Indians, we remember according to Indian mythology, it is Radha and Krishna. Their love is pure love. Their love is platonic love. And they never get married. We all know that. So today, through the poem, The Quest, which is written by Sarojini Naidu, we shall discuss the theme of divine love. Let's get started. The quest. The quest is, the meaning of the quest is search. Here, Radha is searching for Krishna. Now, what is the theme of the poem? The theme or subject of the poem is, it's divine love. Divine is godly love. Like how a human can love God. And also you can um, read this poem as a love song. Okay, and here uh, the poetess is talking about platonic love. Sarojini Naidu is talking about platonic love. Platonic love means it is love of minds and not of body. So it's not physical love, it is mind to mind love. Then the couple here she has taken is Radha and Krishna, Lord Krishna. So we know that Lord Krishna is the avatar of Vishnu and Radha is the avatar of uh, Mata Lakshmi. So according to Indian mythology, mythology is Dharma Granta. According to it, they are the most celebrated couple. Okay, now here what Sarojini Naidu has done is to show the love song or love between Radha and Krishna, she has used many words or terms and references to nature like for like for example dawn forest glade wind noon rise dusk dove gray and tides so many references she has made to nature to convey the theme of divine love so here she is using the simile of boat simile is comparing radha situation with the boat so let us see that in later part of the video. Now here Krishna is called by several names. Like he is called as Kanhaya. He is called as Sweet Lover, Flute Player, Playfellow, Ganashama. So so many names. So when we love a person, we call them by many different names. Like Putta, Chinnu, Bangari. So with so many names we call in the same way, Radha is uh, referring to Krishna with many, many names. Now, uh, coming to the structure of the poem, the poem is having 20 lines. And these 20 lines are divided in 10 stanzas. That is 10 couplets. Couplets means two lines, one stanza. So, it is two lines, one stanza she has divided. So, totally the poem is having 20 lines. I hope this is clear. So, the theme of the poem is true love. Or it's a divine love. It's love song. Whose love is discussed here? Radha and Krishna. What is the structure of the poem? So it is having 20 lines. And the 20 lines are divided in 10 couplets. Couplets means 2 lines. Okay. Uh, now it's not only Sarojini Naidu who has written uh, songs about Radha and Krishna. There are many Indian poets who have written about Lord Krishna. Now Sarojini Naidu has written... This in a collection called Songs of Radha. So this collection is having many poems and that today we are discussing the quest. So now the other poets who have discussed about uh, uh, Lord Krishna. The famous one is Mirabai's hymns, Vidyapati's devotional songs and Jayadeva's Gita Govinda. So I have just named very few here. Okay, now this is the poem, the first two lines. So Radha, you can see here that she is waiting for Krishna. She wants to meet him. So this is the first couplet. Couplet means two lines, one paragraph. Not, not paragraph, sorry, it is stanza. So it goes like this. My foolish love, when seeking thee at dawn, crying, 
ओ विंड वेर इज कन्हैया गॉन डॉन इज अर्ली मॉर्निंग सो इन द अर्ली मॉर्निंग कृष राधा वॉन्ट्स टू सी कृष्णा सो शी हेज बिकम मैड सो शी कॉल्स एज फूलिश लव सो हर लव हेज बिकम मैड शी हेज बिकम मैड विदउट कृष्णा सो शी इज सर्चिंग हिम एवरीवेर द सर्च हेज बिगन फ्रॉम द अर्ली मॉर्निंग सो क्राइंग शी गोज एंड आस्क द विंड वेर इज कनहिया गॉन सो इट्स अ क्वेश्चन मार्क so so she goes and asks the wind questions the wind where is kanahiya seeking is searching the means you krishna no next lines okay so the search is continued i questioned at noon rise the forest glade rest my sweet lover in thy friendly shade so she questioned at noon rise noon rise is afternoon to the forest glade glade means the open space in the forest cardinal cardina madhyadalli open space iruttala alli hogi kaadige olu prashnayana keltale where is my lover have you seen him so here krishna is referred as my sweet lover so she says have you seen my lover is he sleeping in your shade avan enadral malkondidana please heli anta avlu question anna keltale thy means again old english which means your your means here forest is he sleeping there so this is the second couplet at dusk still she is unable to find krishna so at dusk dusk is late evening sanje i pleaded with the doe gray tides pleaded means she requested she requested the water tides andre water gray color looking water because as it is late evening the water is looking gray in color so she asks have you seen my krishna at dusk pleaded with the dow gray tides oh tell me where my flute player abides abides means dwells ellidane avanu nanna krishna ellidane anta hol request maadkoltaale please tell me where is he i am not able to find him from morning i am searching i have become mad in his love i asked the wind the wind is not answering okay then i asked the forest the forest is not answering now i am asking the water the water is not answering where is my krishna okay see like how the nature reference sarojini naidu is bringing to uh, show the divine love or to develop the love song of radha and krishna so she says dumb were the waters dumb means silent nobody is answering her questions water did not answer her question the woods woods means forest the forest is not answering her question where is krishna the wind the wind also is not answering nobody is answering to her they knew not where my play fellow to find play fellow is again krishna nan jothe aataadavan ellidane avarge gottilla nan en maadli so she she has become helpless she is unable to live without uh, krishna so what she does let us see i bowed my weeping face upon my palm mourning oh where art thou my ganasham so she says i bowed my weeping face weeping is crying naning tale itkon bitu kootkon alag start maadbute i have started crying and like while crying i asked oh where art thou my ganasham art means r you means thou means you my ganasham where are you she is questioning him so in this state suddenly she feels happy it's like the boat then like a boat that rocks them rocks from e keel to rafter keel is the bottom of the boat for example this is the boat so this is keel and this is rafter the top of the boat is called as rafter where the flag is tied so that is a rafter and this is the keel so hege vandu boat shake aagibiduttu how it how it shakes from bottom to top in the same way i am to shaking with happiness 
then like a boat this is simile she is comparing her situation with the situation of the boat now like like how the boat shakes from bottom to top keel is bottom rafter is top my heart was shaken by thy hidden laughter thy means krishna's hidden laughter andre he is laughing from inside from her heart so let us see why he is laughing so everywhere uh, radha is searching but now he is laugh- laughing inside her heart then didst thou mock me with thy tender melodies so she says then didst thou mock me mock is to tease her avlan regustane why with thy tender melodies regusta regusta cheshte martane ayyo huchi ayyo mad woman how faithless you are nin yarano nambalva yake belagginda nannan hudukutidiya why are you searching me everywhere i am nowhere i am inside your heart okay we are one ni nann olagade idiya nan nin olagade idini nin hucchi tar ella kade hudukutidiya i am inside your heart you are inside my heart when you remember me you just see your heart i am inside you i have gone nowhere like nectar bubbling nectar is honey bubbling is ukki harita ide honey jen tuppa ukki ukki harita ide ellinda avlu hrudayadinda from my own heart's chalice chalice is cup so from my heart's cup the honey is overflowing bubbling is it is overflowing thou saidest o oh faithless one thou saidest means here krishna krishna is telling to radha o oh faithless one faithless andre ninge nambike illa you don't trust me you don't believe me self slain with doubt doubt means samshaya samshaya padkoltidiya why are you doubting me i have gone nowhere your doubt is killing you from inside from morning you are doubting where where i am anta nin search martta idiya i am nowhere i am inside your heart why seekest seekest means search seekest is to search the quest thou my loveliness without where i am i am nowhere i am inside your heart and asked ask it the wind ask it means to ask this is an old english you go and ask the wind in the morning and you couldn't find me you went and asked the wave the water in the evening you couldn't find me you asked the flowering dell flowering dell is the forest who balligalanella kelde nan ellidini anta ayyo hucchi nambike ilva ninge where i am i am inside your heart the secret what is the secret that within thyself doth dwell dwell andre live where i am i i live in your heart i am of thee as thou of me a part so we both are a part like ardhanarishwara i am inside you you are inside me look for me in the mirror of thy heart so where i am if you remember me you just see in your heart i am present in your heart so through this poem sarojini naidu is talking about divine love or true love the poem is quite simple in the morning radha she has become mad in love of krishna so she starts searching krishna everywhere in the morning she goes and asks the wind and the wind tells that krishna is no way to be found then in the afternoon she asks the forest because krishna is having a habit of sleeping in the forest during afternoon so the forest is unable to answer then in the evening she is totally become mad and hopeless she goes and asks the water where is krishna and krishna is nowhere to be found so at last hopelessly she is crying and she is remembering krishna then from inside her heart a voice comes a voice comes of krishna see don't search me outside i am inside you you are inside me if you want to see me see your own heart 
so this kind of relationship every indian has with god so where is god according to indian mythology he is inside our heart so there is no need of finding him anywhere outside so i hope this poem is clear and you have enjoyed the class thank you very much and subscribe uh, to my channel for more videos of english language and literature thank you very much